boys and girls and welcome to another lesson of science and daily life in the grade 9 classroom. I am Miss Riemann and I'm here to take you on an exciting journey as we explore more on a digestive system. Last session we identified the parts of a tooth and we talked about how to care for our teeth. Today however boys and girls our objectives are 1 to define digestion, 2 to identify the phases of digestion and the types of digestion there well they are three to identify the parts of the digestive system now what is digestion or what does digestion involves basically it's the breaking down of food into smaller pieces it is also the mixing of food it is the movement through the digestive tract it is also the chemical breakdown of the large molecule foods to into smaller molecules. Now, what are the phases of digestion? The phases include one, ingestion, two, movement, three, mechanical and chemical digestion, four, absorption, and five, elimination. Simply saying ingestion, we take in the meals or our food, it moves through from your esophagus to the different parts. There are some form of mechanical and chemical digestion occurring. Absorption occurs of your minerals and nutrients and then elimination where you pass it out into the washrooms. Now, what are the types of digestions? We have two main types of digestions. Well, digestion. You have one, mechanical, or what is called the physical aspect, and two, chemical. What happens in the mechanical digestion? Basically, you have, when, well, or it occurs when you're chewing, it tears, grind, mash, or mix. That mechanical aspect occurs in the mouth. You can recall the last class or last session we talked about the teeth. And the teeth plays a vital role in digestion. It aids in the mechanical aspect of digestion. The second part that you have is chemical. Basically, you're looking at enzymatic reaction to improve digestion of carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids or fats. Basically, what happens is that you have the mixture of all the chemicals to have these nutrients being absorbed. Now, what is the main function of dige or digestive system? What is the main function of the digestive system? Now, the main function of the digestive system is to turn food into simple sugars, amino acids, and carbohydrates. Why do you think we need this? What happens is that amino acid, sugar, and carbohydrate, they act as a fuel for the body. It gives us the energy that we need. Hence the reason digestion is important. We need those energies so that we can carry out our everyday work and tasks that we have, what we have to do. What is the function of the digestive system? Here, boys and girls, you can take a look. The first stage of the digestive system is the mouth and the teeth. The teeth grind up the food which saliva is mixed with the food to break down that aspect of food. The food is swallowed and a wave-like motion moves the food to the stomach. So the first part basically talks about you eating. The teeth is mixing that food up. It's getting into smaller bits and pieces. Saliva in your mouth mixed with that food to help that food to slide down. And the food is moved from your mouth to your stomach. The second stage basically talks about the stomach. The stomach breaks down the food. The stomach churns the food or mix the food up with gastric juice. Those are some juices that are found in your stomach. This is done with the gastric juices and it's mixed and it's mixed until it looks somewhat like a vomit-like substance. But in order for us to have absorption to occur, 
it must be mixed thoroughly and be into small and pieces and bits. Now, the glands in the stomach produce these juices. The gastric juices break down the proteins and then the food is passed on into the small intestine. So that's the second stage. It moves from the mouth into the stomach. The stomach turns it into this mix that it has with all the juices and so on. After it's mixed properly, it then passes on into the small intestine. Now, boys and girls, I need you to take a look at the image that we have here. It is the digestive system. Let us take a look at the parts of the digestive system. First, you have the mouth. You have your salivary glands there, which your saliva is being produced. You also have your esophagus. Then your stomach. You have your small intestine, your large intestine, your rectum, and the anus. You also have the liver, gallbladder, and appendix. Again, boys and girls, let's do that one more time. You have your mouth, your esophagus, your salivary glands, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, anus, liver, gallbladder, and the appendix. That there, boys and girls, what you just listed there, is known as the parts of the digestive system. That has brought us to the end of another informative lesson. Do join me again as we explore more on the functions of those parts that we talked about today. Until next time, I am Miss Freeman. Bye-bye.